Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I am off out here in Arizona in a beautiful canyon out on a ride today. I'm actually by myself today and thought this would be a good day to actually show you what I carry on my dual sport motorcycle when I'm off out adventuring, whether I'm by myself or not. If I go on bigger adventures, I actually carry more like camping gear and stuff. But right now I don't have camping gear and stuff on the bike. I don't need it. But so I thought I'd give you all an insight of what I actually carry on my Honda CRF 300L. Okay, so first off, we'll just kind of go through the bags on here, what I have. Um, I have Nelson Rig luggage, of course. I have a Nelson Rig tail bag. I have a Nelson Rig roll bag here with stuff in it. And I also have the Nelson Rig rig gear uh, waterproof tank bag, and I carry some stuff in here. Uh, but basically, this one here really don't have anything. It actually has just a, a little phone mount and a medicine bottle it's like an excedrin bottle and i actually have some benadryl some excedrin some tylenol and different things in it just in case you, i need it while i'm out and then over on this side i actually have a bottle of water in this bottle holder now you can carry fuel cells in these too if you wanted to but because i have the aturbus 3.6 gallon tank uh, i really don't need the extra fuel this thing goes a long long ways with that tank and it actually looks good so in my tail bag, in the top compartment here, you can see I actually have uh, some nasal spray if I need it. I have a little piece of rope. I do have some, uh, I have a couple of rock straps in case I need to strap some on. Rock straps are actually really awesome. I'll take these out of here. And then uh, this is a tool from Motion Pro. It's actually just pretty darn handy. Let me get this out of here, of course. This is actually just pretty darn handy because it has like a 12 millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter socket. And then when you pull these off, there's actually Allen wrenches under here. So there's different size Allen wrenches. So this thing really comes in handy if you need some Allen wrenches. So over here, I have another little bottle. It's actually like a match holder. But in this one, I actually just have some medicine. Looks like I have some uh, Tylenol in here. And I carry this just in case. You never know who's out with me or whatever. Somebody gets a headache. There's Advil, Tylenol, different things that I carry in here. And it keeps them dry and waterproof. These are pretty handy little bottles to carry with you. And they're like super cheap. And then right here, I actually have a bag of zip ties. Because right, you never know when you'll need zip ties. You can use them for a lot of different things. Okay, so moving on to the back of the tail bag here. Actually, just all kinds of rags. And a lot of times, these rags are not just for... There's a stick in there. These rags are not just for cleaning things. Also, it keeps stuff from banging and rattling around in here. I use them kind of like padding for stuff. So I actually have a bottle of water here. Um, over here, I have my Air Moto moto pump think of the name of it think of it air moto my air moto pump and this thing is pretty cool it's the probably my favorite i've ever had i've got all different kinds and this one is cool and one of the coolest things i like about this one is yes you can when you turn it on here you can set it to 22 psi set it to whatever psi you want uh, and airs up and it stops and shuts off at that pressure for airing up and airing down it's really handy the cool part about airing down is it has this button here you can push and release the air out. So you can air down, push this button. It tells you on here what your pressure is. You can air down and then just stop by doing that. None of them besides this one I've ever had actually has an air down button. And of course you just pull out the hose right here and it just threads right under here. It's that simple. Charges right here by USB-C. So I always keep this thing charged up, ready to go. It does have an LED light on it also. Also, it looks like I have, uh, this is part of my chin mount for my GoPro on my helmet. And then I carry a couple of these snack bars usually with me. These are the Clef bars. Uh, peanut butter, banana, I carry a couple of them. Never know when you might get hungry. Need a snack out on the trail. Pretty simple right there. Up here in my tank bag next. The tank bag is actually handy because it's right here easy to get to if you're sitting on the bike. That's what's cool about it. 
So what I carry in here is actually in this top part, I have some different cables, uh, USB-C to USB, because I can actually plug in right up here and I can charge my GoPro on the move. I can charge my Cinna 50C while I'm on the move and works pretty good. And then I have a rag there. I also have some lens cleaner. This is just lens cleaner for glasses. The little bottle, you get these little bottles at Walmart and they refill them for free. So works pretty cool. Carry some chapstick Carmex stuff. I also keep in here a Leatherman Skeletool multi-tool. It's pretty handy when you need different tools. I also looks like I carry some uh, Rig Gear Adventure stickers and some chains down in there. Then we got so then in here we got a flashlight I carry. This is a through night flashlight. It's pretty handy. LED rechargeable. Just plug it into USB-C and recharge it. I actually have a couple flashlights. I have a little small one here too. Rechargeable also. And this is a lens cleaning cloth. It's a Spuds lens cleaning cloth. And you actually just pull it out of this little pouch, clean your lens, and put it back in there. Pretty handy. So then inside this little bag right here, it's a little camera case. I actually have a spare Cinna 50C. And that's in case uh, my battery runs dead and I don't want to plug it into USB and charge. I can just got one ready to go, charged up, SD card in it. I can just put it on my helmet and keep video. And then inside here in this pocket, it's pretty handy because this is where I actually keep my extra, I have two extra batteries for the GoPro. So the handy little pouch, it keeps it padded and protects the camera instead of letting it bang around on the bike. That's all my stuff pretty much that I have in these two bags. And now we will go through this bag right here. Now this is a Nelson Rig 10 liter roll bag. Super handy because you got these Nelson Rig rig straps and I mean they are awesome for strapping stuff on. I have it strapped on here both sides and uh, it's not going anywhere. And I, I sit right here so it actually don't bother me and uh, we'll just strap it right there on the seat. Pretty handy. We'll open this up and I'll show you what I have inside here. So the cool part about this 10 liter roll bag from Rig Gear Adventure is it's a roll bag, 100% waterproof. Whatever you put in here is not gonna get wet. You just unroll it and pull your stuff out. So I pull this out. This is my Rig Gear. This is the large tool roll. I'll show you what I have in it here in just a minute. And then inside here, I actually have two tubes. I have a front and a rear tube, a new tube that I keep in here for the bike. You can actually carry just a front tube and you can actually use it in the front and rear. But I go ahead, I got room, so I just like to keep a front and a rear tube. And here while back, I actually needed one because I had a flat on that rear uh, Moto's Tractionator tire. And it came in real handy having a spare tube. Okay, so now we have the Nelson Rig tool roll. I'll just lay it out here on the ground, unroll it, show you what I have inside here. These things are nice. They actually make a smaller version. And this is actually the large one because I carry lots of tools inside here. Let me scoot this over. Hopefully where you can see all of it. Open up this flap right here. It's nice and orange where you can see inside. Any of this stuff that's Nelson Rig, you guys want to save 20%, go to nelsonrig.com and use the code WOODSMAN20 at the checkout. You're gonna save 20% and anything over $50 is free shipping. It's a really good deal if you really wanna save on some Nelson Rig Rig Gear Adventure products. So basically what I have inside here, I have uh, some cutters, some side cutters. I have a tire gauge to check my air and my tires. I have a set of sockets and a ratchet for it. I also have a 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, and 14 millimeter ratchet wrench. I also have a Phillips screwdriver right here. But not only do I have a Phillips screwdriver, I also have this multi screwdriver that kind of does everything, you know, like seven or eight and one, whatever they are. Pretty handy when you need one. Then I have a tire spoon right here, just an extra tire spoon. I have a little set of vice grips right here. 
This is my valve core remover from changing my tires. Looks like I have an eight millimeter wrench right there too, kind of hidden. Then I have a couple of these uh, multi wrenches here. This is a 17 and a 24. This MSR one is a 22 and a 27. Then I also have the Motion Pro, Bead Pro wrenches. These are really handy, they're lightweight aluminum. And you can actually put these like so, put them on there and you can actually break down a bead with these. That's what they're designed for. So you can actually break down the bead on your motorcycle. And they actually do work, I've used them. And then I actually have this Allen wrench set. And this is the Allen wrench set, check this out. So we have a 12, a 19, 24, 22, 17, and a 14, which fits the front axle on a Honda CRF 300L or 250L. And you can actually put a, take these things, put a wrench on there. So you just take it, take it, all you gotta do, put you, this is a 17 wrench. So I could actually put it right here, put it like this. And yeah, I can actually use this to hold my front axle. You could actually take the 24, put it on this side too. So as you can see what this 14 millimeter does, it actually will just fit right here in your front axle to hold it. So now the last part here is what we have on this side is a patch kit. I actually have some patches, some glue, a cigarette lighter to light the glue. I have some valve cores in here. This here little waterproof container is full of matches. They are the waterproof matches. Then I have a little bead buddy from Motion Pro and I have a bottle opener. So this is more matches in this little box right here. So that is everything that I carry in my rig gear large roll bag. Very handy, like yeah, just like that. Roll this thing right up, brush off the dust or don't brush off the dust, whatever you wanna do. The dust and the dirt. And that fits right back in my Nelson Rig 10 liter roll bag. Okay guys, that is pretty much everything I carry on my Honda CRF300L when I'm out in these big adventures out here in the desert, the mountains. Uh, as far as camera equipment, I have a Cine 50C. As I said, I have the spare one in here. I also have the GoPro Hero 12 right here. And this Cine 50C will connect Bluetooth to the GoPro, which is cool because the audio from this intercom camera system here will go over onto the GoPro. Another thing I carry on my bike is I do carry the Garmin Zumo XT. Uh, this is really cool. I keep it mounted on here. It's actually plugged in here where it, with this mount, is actually powered all the time. Keeps it charged up and running. It's really nice off out here uh, when you need to know where you're at. Uh, you can get turn-by-turn -turn directions, street GPS, off-road GPS, all built into one. I also have a... Front and rear Thinkware M1 dash cam. This is the rear right here. Come up here. Is where my front one is right there. And this is just recording all the time. In case I don't have one of the cameras on, that will catch it. It's not amazing video, but it's good enough. And there's my GoPro. Kind of a neat setup I hear. I have this camera mount so I can have it facing toward the front. I can loosen this. I, and then I can spin it around and set the camera where it's facing me or pretty much any angle I want up and down or around whichever way I want. Okay guys, so that's it. That's everything that I carry on my Honda CRF 300L. I wanted to share this with you because I know a lot of you guys that go out or you want to go out further, but you don't know what to carry on your bike. It's pretty important if you go out as far as I do to carry this kind of stuff because if you get out here and you break down, uh, you never know what you're gonna need. Uh, so you wanna be prepared out here in the mountains. There's all kinds of dangers, things you can break down. You can bust a tire, you can, uh, anything can happen. It don't matter how good your bike is. I mean, it, things do happen. Um, you also want to carry some protection on you I do carry a Ruger LC9S, which is pretty darn nice little gun. It's small, compact, nine millimeter, and uh, you never know what you're gonna run onto. You could run onto a snake or something or an animal that 
could hurt you or even a person. So I definitely carry some self-protection on me. <laughs> it's just a, a good idea. And I carry it in a holster on my hip. Uh, I could carry it on the bag on the bike, but the problem is with that is it's not quick access if you really need it in a hurry. And I never know what I'm going to run in it into out here. You know, you're off out here. I'm 30-something miles out here in the middle of nowhere in a canyon in Arizona, not too far from the border over here, about five miles, I think, from where I'm at. So just in case, you never know. But that's everything I carry. So as I said, anything Nelson Rig, Rig Gear Adventure, on their website, go to nelsonrig.com, put in the code WOODSMAN20 at the checkout. Anything over 50 bucks, you get free shipping. And with my code WOODSMAN20, you're going to save 20% off your order. It's a super good deal. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Stay tuned. we got lots more adventures on the way. Right on.